the cusp of the harvest in this part of the southeast of England, and the crops are high. It's a time when crop protection, although not illegal, is sometimes frowned upon because of the difficulty retrieving the shot birds. As the aerials show, large patches of Andy's wheat have fallen foul of recent strong winds. It means that whenever Andy and his cousin Gary shoot on this baking hot day, their labs good girl, Rosa. will have a good chance of picking it. We had some really, really strong winds uh, last Tuesday. Strong winds and rain. And uh, it's just any wheat bits that have had a little bit extra fertiliser or where there's holes in, like there's a hole in the hedge here, the wind just comes straight up top here. It's just made it flat right the way out across. Some nice flat bits down through the middle. Well, not nice, but... <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, so built up on here a bit. I sat and watched them yesterday. There was only probably 300, two, 300, and they'd moved out onto the, the rape, which is just behind, right behind this hedge. Coming on the right, Moosh. With opportunities to partner up with plus one, few and far between, it's now or never. <laughs> you sound quite excited today. You're, you're talking quite fast. I'm excited. It's, 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 not, it's, it's good to get Gary out. He's, 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 how he's been is how I'm going to be in probably miserable. next week. No, I'm not miserable, David. No, Gary. Oh, Gary. Miserable. Gary's not always miserable. He's always stressed. Oh, is he? Yeah, stressed. No, he's, it's, it's good to get him out. It's, um, it's been really slow this year and the pitching wise, but no, it's good to get him out. It's good to have him <laughs> so out. So you tag team me today? Yeah. Oh, geez, I couldn't get on that. You've got quite a high hide here. I'm, a bit, I'm, gonna, I'm worried I'm going to struggle. I'll drop it down for you. Say when? Yours? Shot. Say when. Shot. Look at that, right on the track. Synchronised pigeon shooting at its best. Now recently we've been meandering down memory lane with Andy. For this outing we're going futuristic, introducing the bionic bird that David has named Brian. <laughs> right. Hello Brian. This is Brian the Bionic Bird. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? So we've been talking retro clothes. Yeah. What do you reckon about the idea? At some point in the future, you could actually have like bionic birds floating round as an idea. Yeah, Brian. Oh. Should we set him free? Sure, set him. I've got to try and film it. <laughs> Before I shoot it. Yeah, but it's going to end up in the crop, isn't it? Can you keep an eye on it? Hold on, hold on, let me get the, let me get some level up. Let me get some revs up. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, he went well. <laughs> you got in, Gary. Where is he? I think he's been hit in the head. Hold on, hold on. Chuck, chuck it. Go. Right up! Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Where's he gone? You ain't never gonna find that, Mush. Okay. Oh, I helicopter. Oh no! Is it bringing him in? His tail's up in the air. What's up with his tail? That's for beginners, because I've only just started. Oh, oh. No, no! This way. This way! This way! This way! Do you reckon he's got legs? Wings? Oof. Future? It wouldn't be not good for me. Huh? It wouldn't be no good for me. I'd, yeah, never, I'd never be able to fly that. I'm just thinking, you press the button, up it goes, and just stays in a bit of a pattern. We could choose the patterns, maybe. If you could choose a pattern, it just goes round and comes down and goes round and comes yeah, down. Keeps doing that all day. I'm thinking that as a potential startup. <laughs> you did tell me the price. Yeah. I nearly pooed a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> behind, behind, much behind. So the sweetest things. You might have to use your imagination on this one as we didn't have a spare teenager to operate, Brian. Maybe join us for Field Sports Britain episode 1251 to see a 16-year-old Regan <laughs> using a flock of Brians. Is that cool?
Back to the shooting and there are lots. Andy has a £10 bet with his cousin over the potential bag number. Gary's gone large and reckons more than 200. Crow is not so sure, especially as the birds are heading directly to where they should have set up the hide. But there is no fallen wheat there. But this wheat's a way off though, is it? This wheat has really moved on in the last week, 10 days. Well, since last weekend we've had a bit of hot weather. The old warm weather really is pushing it on. Um, it's surprising how quick it's coming on now. The rape, we sprayed that off 10 days ago. So we've got the game fair coming up next weekend. Um, I'm up there one day, so I'm gonna probably try and get that cut Wednesday before the, before the game fair. That's the plan anyway, so. You that's, need a job though for today, don't you? You certainly do. Oh. So you should just come back with another one. Good girl. The place we wanted to be was further down. Ideally, we'd have shot more. And um, that's the reason for putting a few more birds out, try and oof, pull them right into us. But the flight lines, come, they either come through this gap or just up there to the right, or they cut through there to go down to the other end of the field. But it's just a case of picking them, that's what it's all about today. I hate, hate wasting them, hate dropping them that I can't pick. So the, the, the aim is today to, as you've seen, everything we've shot's either been on this or just on the edge of the track. So it's, it's worked really well. So, well now we've got a few more out. They should, should draw in a bit better and we can build a bag. Then. Even though we've been talking modern, Gary's brought a family heirloom. The 20 bore pump action their grandfather let them shoot. Crow gives the Blazer F16 a rest and takes it for a spin. Remember a couple of shows ago we was talking about the gun I used to use when I was a kid. There, there we go. It's the old savage pump. Let's see how we get on with this bad boy. So that's something that Gary used to, yeah? Yeah. Well, it sounds the business. Mm. <laughs> when was it last shot? When did you last shoot this, Moose? When did you last shoot this? Three, four years ago. I, w I want a real easy one. Ah, oh, yep. Aye. Aye. <laughs> so how old were you when you first shot that? Probably 10. No, really? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I was so light. Oh my goodness. I think I might put it back in its case now. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. Oof. I have to edit that bit out. 12 ball, 20 ball. What would you say was the sort of practical difference between the two? Uh, the 20 ball is less, less recoil. Um, it's a lighter gun, and that's a nice little gun anyway. Um, but that's got skeet choke, which is a big pattern, a lot of holes in it. So I'm shooting three quarter and quarter out of this. I'm shooting quarter over the decoys and three quarter for the longer ones. And it's been working really well. But like I say, I've just been wobbling them down. It just gives the dogs a bit more work to do. And I don't really want it today, it's a bit hot. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just change back to this. Uh, so that they're dead, dead. Oy. Like that. This time last year, the harvest was a few weeks ahead and we were filming on the rape stubble. We spoke about the lack of demand for pigeons thanks to the pandemic. Surely 12 months on, that's now changed as restrictions ease. Can you give me an idea of whether there's demand? Is it, is it still flat? Flat as a pancake. Really? Yeah. There's no demand for pigeons, there's no demand for venison, there's no demand for anything. To worry. Yeah, it is. Do you reckon the deer numbers are higher? Yeah, there haven't been so many deer shot because a lot of people I know they haven't, haven't shot them for the simple reason they can't get rid of them. There's only so much you can eat. Um, I eat a lot of it. <laughs> 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 you may laugh, David, but I have it nearly. Well, I've had it. I had gammon last night, but every other night this week I've had venison. So whether it be burgers, sausages. How many carcasses? Can you go? Can you count the number of carcasses you eat in a year? 
I never used to eat that much. But I had a bit of a dodgy stomach and... So a venison burger a day keeps the doctor away, is that what you're saying? Well, I, I eat a lot of them. All venison. It just... I love it. Absolutely love it. That was a shot, Moosh! <laughs> Andy and Gary eventually pack up at 7pm, having picked just shy of 280 birds, with Andy a tenner light. Nice breeze, actually. That was perfect stuff.